Welcome to the Third Wind channel, where we've been covering the new iCarly Revival series. Today, I wanted to dedicate a video to Carly and Freddy, or shortened to Creddy. There's a lot of exciting stuff happening in the new series that I think connects well with the original series, so I wanted to talk about it. First up, some history. Freddy has a crush on Carly in the original series, and then, point two, Freddy's dream comes true with them kissing, but it never really works out and only really lasts one episode. And now we are at the state where Carly calls them platonic best friends. Moving on, we have Exhibit A, which is the first point, Freddy's crush on Carly, where here in this pilot episode, he is looking through the people, waiting for Carly to go home. And when she does get home, she picks up her water that she drops. And it's just, you know classic crush he is a huge crush on her exhibit b we have freddy's dream come true carly kissing him but he manages to screw that up and now we are here t like 10 years later uh exhibit c where they are taking a trip together as friends here we have two scripts from i save your life you can pause it if you want to read them but on the left we have the script where uh, Freddy gets kissed by Carly, and I guess long story short is that Carly sees him as a hero in this episode, and that's why she is ready to be his girlfriend, whatever. And on the right, we have Freddy questioning this, and why are you going out with me, blah blah blah. This came from a conversation with Sam, where Sam uh, compares Carly to bacon. Uh, Sam basically says that she only loved this one guy because he of the bacon, and she compares that to Carly only loving Freddy because she saved, uh, he saved her life. And I'm no psychologist, but Freddy goes with the path where he just doesn't believe that Carly loves him. And he thinks that it's just because she saved his life. So he actually ruins that relationship, that spark. And that's the history. That's basically the whole relationship. The rest of it is just Carly, uh, sorry, Freddy crushing crazy on Carly and Carly not being disgusted by it, but basically ignoring it. And now we are here today on our current standing. This is a quote from the latest episode from Carly, who says, Who says you can't share a honeymoon suite with your platonic best friend with whom you have a complicated romantic history? Uh, when I heard that line, I was like, oh boy, that's spicy. And next, I want to talk about Freddy and Carly individually. What kind of um, how this relationship works on either side of this um, two-person street, right? So Freddy has a past crush. We don't really know if he still crushes on Carly. I mean, I guess not. Uh, I also f think that Freddy's first love is Carly, and I think first loves never really die, so I really do think that this will come back. Next, right now, Freddy and Carly are friends, I think both of them have stated that very clearly. But with Freddy, when uh, Brooke suggests a threesome, Freddy's like, wait a second, let me hear this through. Like, he's not completely opposed to having something romantic happen with Carly, which I think is a really interesting point that is almost maybe foreshadowing. But with Freddy, maybe he's just scared of something happening. Maybe he's scared of making a move. Like, he doesn't want to ruin this friendship. Because, after all, he loves her also, maybe romantically, but also as a friend. And lastly, I'd like to say that Freddy does help Carly with boys. So, he's this kind of classic friend boy that's not a boyfriend, blah, blah, blah. Right? But let's flip over to Carly's side. Carly's had feelings uh, for Freddy before. We don't really know... If these are like really love feelings or whatever or just like one spark a short period of time but she has had some kind of feelings with for freddie also she's stated that they're friends many times uh in sometimes in distress uh she also helps freddie with girls and she actually supports freddie's relationships so i think that's important to note she's not really jealous of freddie with other other um girls except maybe brooke which we saw in this episode but i don't know what kind of jealousy that was next up carly gets along great with uh Fre freddie's daughter although his daughter kind of makes fun of carly whatever they are good friends and we saw that especially i think in episode nine or eight not can't remember next up carly seems a little bit confused when they're in that honeymoon suite she seems to be 
considering things and thinking like is is this even plausible and that brings me to my final point the the, the moments we've had even throughout this revival series the the them dancing together them having the heart to heart talks i feel there is a connection and more importantly in episode 10 we saw this tension or sexual tension as you might call it i think there is something here and that brings me to my next point where someone asked me in the ch in the comment section on my last uh review episode 10 review for um that Carly rival series that uh what scenario or route would you want to see for them to be together if it were up to you and i was like well i would want them to end up together and the route i would take is the is the one where they love each other but at different times so let me explain this so i i put down six steps here so uh well number one freddie redevelops feelings for carly or maybe he still has them and we kind of see that as viewers and maybe some other cast members but carly doesn't know so he, number two he doesn't know how to tell her others find out and eventually so does carly maybe in a similar fashion to one of other the other shows that dan schneider created zoe 101 maybe some kind of accident carly finds out and it's a big shocking moment and she doesn't know how to react number three she does not feel the same way and freddie eventually gets over it you know She's like, she's shocked by it. She's like, no, no way, right? And Freddy's obviously sad, but he gets over it. Number four, Carly realizes her feelings for Freddy, but it's too late as Freddy is in a relationship. And then number five, Freddy's girl is perfect. They, you know, they're just the perfect match. They love each other very much. And Carly is sad because she has feelings for Freddy, but she also loves him as a friend and doesn't want to ruin this for Freddy. And then number six, this is a bit of a joke. Of course, this could end a different way, but Gibby comes in and gradually or immediately steals Freddy's girl and Carly comforts Freddy and they end up together. I mean, I don't know. This is just a theory, a course that I would enjoy, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. Maybe uh, you guys could put your step by step, uh, I don't know, not predictions, but maybe theories on how it could happen. And uh, I don't know, I think it's a little exciting to think about how it might happen. It might not happen at all. Um, but I also want to mention SETI here. The reason I don't talk about SETI at all, or at least not this far, if you want me to make a video about it, I can. But uh, is because Jeanette McCurdy seems quite um, sure that she doesn't want to do acting again. So I, I just don't see it happening. So that's why I'm focusing on the Creddy and... You know, to be fair, I am a Creddy kind of guy. Uh, I, I do ship Creddy quite a bit. Uh, but if you have not already, uh, if you want to hear more analysis on Creddy and the latest episode of the Carly Revival series where this whole Creddy thing was really sparked uh, and furthered in the new show, go check out my episode 10 review because I go more in depth there. Uh, but that has been my video kind of focusing on this credit where it could go my theory what i would want to see um and i hope you enjoyed this video uh, i had a lot of fun making it and theorizing so that's it for me today look forward to a new episode review on thursday episode 11 and for now that's it from the third wind channel and i'll see you guys very very soon